My positive affirmations are, I am smart and today I will become smarter. I value myself and today I will be confident. I am right where I need to be. I am enough. <laughs> My name is Shanice Beckford Norton. I am a big 25. I am a professional basketball player for London Lions. I grew up in Plasto, Newham, which is in East London, and having had to actually live in other places away from what would be classed as my physical home. Home court is wherever I'm playing and my loved ones are able to watch me. I started playing basketball when I was six. It really started in my front yard. My brother, Dominic, he breathed basketball. I was a small little girl and he was this very passionate young fella but he would get me to rebound for him and make passes for him and he kind of started my basketball journey and he's very much still very present in it now. My brother Dominic, a twin. Is that it? We're not twins. <laughs> uh, we grew up down the road from here and this is where I get, we'll get picked on how I developed into the hardcore athlete I am. <laughs> From what I remember, tell me if I'm wrong, it was yeah. when he was at London Towers and I would just be like upstairs playing with his teammates, younger siblings. The coach like saw me upstairs and was like, oh, do you want to come down and play? I'm seven, these girls are like 14, 15 years old, but I would train with them whenever he would go to training sessions. Yeah. Those girls that she was playing with when she was seven, she now plays against and plays with for GB, for Lions, and now she's a captain of one of the best teams in the UK, one of the best teams in Europe. After sixth form, I went to Alabama. I went to high school in Florida, and then went to uh, LSU for college. I am proud of Shanice and everything she's done. During my generation, there wasn't as much help getting to the US. And what I knew I wanted is for the next generation, not just Shanice, to have it a little bit easier. Yeah, you're giving me a community, like all your friends and stuff, uh, help me out and support me. Shanice is the crier. <laughs> just so you know, Shanice is the crier. Okay, I'm done. Cut. <laughs> So I ended up going to high school at 16, so I didn't do sixth form uh, here in the UK. From there, I got a four-year scholarship to LSU. And I don't think I really thought about the fact that, okay, I'm gonna be here for six years and I'm literally going from a teenager to a woman in this point. And I'm not doing it at home with the comfort of my family around me. Me being home now, I hear my mom say like I miss you a lot more than when I was over there and I think it's just because now we've connected so much whenever you aren't around I miss you that little bit more because I know you're right there. Um... Hello. Can I ask a question? Go on. <laughs> Yeah. I saw something on TikTok and I want to send it on the laptop. No, yeah. So copy the link and then send it to her email. Okay. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Is there any more? Oh, no, everything's fine. Okay. Good. Great. Uh, did you know that I was gonna be pro, or did you already like think that I was gonna be professional? When you first touched the basketball, do you remember? No. Dominic used to play bounce the ball, mm. but you just couldn't do it. And the day that you done it, you knew you was going to be a basketball player. Well, that's the interview done. Nice, Mum. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess between the three of us, we've con connected a lot more in the past couple of years. I think so. Obviously, I, I couldn't use very young going to America. It was like taking, a, taking part of my heart when it was you that, that had gone. I'm always there to support you. I will always support you. Yeah, I don't know. Because of ill health, mm. mine, there were other people that, that would take the load off of me. You've got a lot of people that had a lot of faith in you. I am really grateful for you and mm. everything that you've done and uh, sacrificed for me. I know that, Shen. I know that. Um... 
what do you think about my future? Not just like basketball, but life in general. I think you'd have a good future. Because you're a nice person, Shane. Oh, get it from somewhere, <laughs> don't I? Get it from somewhere. Just be compassionate. Like, like you know, thoughtful. Just be who you are. I'll be me, which is a piece of you. Guru mum. <laughs> I've started to recognise as I've gotten older, like who truly is within my network. That's important because I know when I'm at my lowest, who's actually going to be there for me. My brother does his, um, how's your mental health? It's good. Is it really? Yes. <laughs> and my friend Jay checking in and like Wara, we do wellness checks. There's time and patience and, um, just like freedom in that dialogue as well. It's good, refreshing. Thanks to my brother, my mom, my uncle, a, like how they say it takes a village. Like a village was literally built around me. <laughs> my uncle, Gary Beckford, he has played such a huge part in my life um, from my upbringing and I have no idea where I would be without my uncle. Uh, I wouldn't be the same person. I've been there since she was born and I've always been around. She sees me all the time, whether she's in the States or whether she's in another country, it doesn't actually matter. And she knows I'm gonna be there. When you talk about elite athletes, everyone thinks that they're already all sorted. The reality is it's not that. We all need somebody to talk to. And I, I try to be happy and smiley and look on the positive side of, th of things. So I guess some of that may have rubbed off. She's a fantastic role model. She just inspires everybody to work hard. You see her, you can't stand still. You've got to work, you've got to work with her. The, the sport industry can be really harsh, um, especially with young athletes. So I do try to take the time to get to know the kids that I coach for who they are and not just, oh, this is just some kid coming to play basketball. There's so many women that have inspired my journey and touched my journey in one way or another, and they probably don't even know it. Literally the people that I'm playing with now, like Chantel, Shaquilla, I remember in, <laughs> I remember in college, they would do like trivia questions, like who's your favorite athlete? For at least three years, I put Azania. It would be crazy to think that like some, some young athlete sees the same in me as I do in them, it would complete me. It's great being back in London. I mean, there is a lot of heart here. Obviously my mom, my brother, my uncle, and I have like Caroline. Uh, Caroline Charles is my second mother. She's one of the pieces of my basketball court heart. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was, he was about nine years old when your uncle bought you to me and you just stood out amongst the sea of boys feisty really? yeah you were feisty Shanice you know you you just wanted to play and you wanted to play serious you have heavily contributed to my reason for being a coach it was because I knew not many kids had the coaching that I had I wanted them to know like okay one there are female coaches yeah two there are black female coaches Three, there are young female coaches. <laughs> yeah, because when I was coaching you, I was an anomaly. There wasn't another black female coach. Mm. Well, not in London anyway. The coach or the referee would look past me, oh, where's the coach? Mm. Because they didn't realise I was the coach. Now, I look at you and I look at all the other coaches that are coming up and I'm thinking, this looks good. There, there, is, no, there is no Caroline. Be, there's, there's nobody there's, like Caroline. I'm unique, I'm, a, I'm the GOAT. No, you definitely I, are unique. I'm, I'm unique. <laughs> but there is Shanice Norton, there is you. Nah, you just be um, you. I've seen with every player that you've coached, you've actually cared about them more than just, oh, this is my play and they're going to help you win games. I call it knowing my cats and this is a good thing for you now that you're going into coaching. 12 girls does not make one person. They're all different mm. and you've got to approach them in different ways. And I still look at you, even though you're a big woman, I think you're one of my girls. You're one of my girls. I love you. Yeah, can I? Oh, I love, I you, love too. you too. <laughs> <laughs>
I think I'm that person that always checks on people in private. Like I might not be like the loudest, I can be pretty loud, but I might not be the loudest on the court, but I feel like I'm that, just that little like fairy on people's shoulders, um, sprinkling fairy dust over everyone. <laughs> I guess it kind of goes off what my mum has spoken about, about being kind and compassionate. It might not always be someone's day. You can't really stop a rainy day, but just be the rainbow in that. <laughs>